Hey, Internet and Melly. Um, I'm Casey. This is 25 and 52. It is Thursday evening and I am in my house. Yay. And I haven't made a video yet this week because I've been kind of like processing some stuff and also uh, just sleeping a lot. Let's be real. A lot of why I haven't made a video yet is that I haven't bothered to put on clothes before, you know, it was time to leave for something. So that's, that's real. Um, and I'm videoing right now in part because I have some thoughts and in part because I look awesome. So I got this poster and also this book at this workshop I went to, the guy named Chris Crass, who is a pretty well-known um, anti-racist, feminist, uh, community organizer type dude. And it was really good. Um, I will admit that I have some feelings about uh, white men appear to be straight, he's married and has a kid, he could be gay, I don't know, I'm not going to speculate about that, but white men, I know that he is those things, who make their money teaching anti-racism and feminism, not that I don't think there's a space for that, I just, you know, I struggle with it. Um, but he did, it was a wonderful workshop, it was really, um, pretty great and talked about some things that kind of got into my brain, which is how I know that it was worth buying a book, right? Um, and one of the things that we talked about was, well, we talked about what it would look like if we woke up tomorrow and liberation had happened. And I was thinking about that it would be being able to, in part, it would be being able to come in to interactions with people with your whole self. And I've been, part of what I've been struggling with over the past few days is this feeling that it is necessary professionally for me to like piece myself apart and to not be, you know, this girl in the universe print dress and the purple lipstick. Um, but if my intention is to build a world where people get to be honest about themselves, then I feel like I have a responsibility to be honest about myself. And though there's an extent to which you like, you know, temper it so that it's not, uh, not about, hey, look, pay attention to me, right? Um, but I think being authentically myself is actually really important to being able to do the work so that we can all get free. So that's a thought. The other thing that was, I don't know, that it has stuck banging around in my brain, I guess, is we talked a bit about how, so there's a quote, and I am forgetting whose it is because I'm great at this. Um, but there's a quote that says that, you know, the right is united by their racism, homophobia, sexism, etc. And the left is torn apart by ours. Which is true. Not that I think we should be, you know, united by it. Um, but, you know, there's this thing where we're constantly fighting with one another, which is necessary, and I think it's important to preserve our ability to disagree with each other, but there's something of a... Uh, we're really strict, right? Like, there are these rules about doing it appropriately, and if you don't, people are very quick to be judgmental and to be like, oh, well, you're not a real whatever. Um, this person isn't actually radical because they think the same things I thought five years ago or whatever. Um, and you know that I struggle a lot with this, um, as a angry feminist resident of the internet. 
the anger is so understandable, but it's also, like, it kills any chance we have of having really strong communities, right? Um, because when you don't know if you can make a mistake, then everything becomes about how do I not make a mistake. And the thing is that we all make mistakes all the time. In fact, I don't have any idea what I'm doing, like, 70% of the time. That might be an overstatement. I don't know. I often don't know what I'm doing, though. I'm just making it up. We're all just making it up. There has to be room for error, right? And there's a compulsion to act, believe, behave as if you, like, sprung fully formed as some kind of radicalized individual, but most of us, I'm willing to bet a vast majority of us, it was a process. It's a process that we're still undergoing. And so it's kind of silly to be mad at people for being behind you. It's not silly to be hurt by them. It's silly to look at people and be like, oh, you believe things that I believed two days ago. Why don't you go to hell, right? Like, that seems unnecessary. I don't know. But so I thought about this thing where we have no, um, we have no concept of, like, confession and forgiveness, and I don't know if confession is necessarily the word I want there, but I thought about, like, a thing that was always kind of interesting to me about, um, particularly about Catholic women who were my patients, was that they would be like, yeah, well, I'll confess, and then I'll be forgiven, and things will be okay, right? Um, we, as progressive, activisty, whatever types, have no real sense of being able to be like, hey, sometimes I fuck up. And getting in response, you know, you're okay. Um, even to the extent where, like, there's stuff that I believed in my childhood as a Republican um, that I am so ashamed of that I don't think I can even say it as part of my narrative, but it is just as much as all of the um, the progressive stuff I've done is. So, these are some thoughts that I have. That's probably enough rambling for the moment. Um, I do want you to know that I am wearing my Doc Martens with this dress, and I love it. I look exactly like myself, and that's my favorite thing to look like. I will see a video from you s soon, probably. Um, maybe sooner than I even get this up. And I will see your person, hopefully in March. And I love you, and I miss you. And this is half of a heart because I'm holding a camera.